Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a singles love reading for my dearest Taurus. Taurus, if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you're after a private reading, I also have uh, those links down below in the description box. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my dearest Taurus for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Taurus, please. All right, your energy. Ooh, you're in alignment here with the King of Pentacles. What you've been through in the past, okay, you've definitely been disappointed or maybe, you know, felt left out in the cold here in the past. Your obstacles and challenges, the Knight of Pentacles, lots of earth energy. Ooh, and what's coming towards you, the Five of Wands. So Taurus, a lot of you, you might be having difficulties choosing. Um, it may be that you have a couple of options coming towards you, or you might feel a little bit conflicted with the person coming towards you, but it, I feel for a lot of you, actually, you're looking good, you're feeling good, you have a lot to offer, you're in alignment, you have been hurt, so it does look like you maybe hesitate a little bit to invest, or maybe if you want to invest, because I can see here you're looking for the one, um, and we have the seven of wands, yeah, you're really protecting your energy here, Taurus, because you don't want to repeat any of those past mistakes, but I love that because it's a really strong energy of my Taurus out there, who have done the healing work and you're determined not to repeat any past karmic lessons or mistakes. And you've been really focused on you and people are noticing <laughs> the King of Pentacles is definitely someone that people want to invest in and they, and they want you to invest in them as well. So I'm kind of getting like a pick me, pick me energy here from a few different options coming towards you, my dear Taurus. So let's clarify. You have the King of Pentacles here. All right, the Nine of Cups. Yeah, see you, you may be dating. Okay, the Nine of Cups can certainly be like, you know, you're, you know, playing the field, testing the waters. Maybe you've, you know, maybe you're on the apps. Maybe you're just going out. You're allowing yourself to be seen. You're very clear. I love this, um, this sort of genie energy because this is your wish fulfillment. You know what you want. And I, and I feel like you're being really picky. And, and I think that's a good thing here for sure and the world card in reverse, but you feel like you haven't quite found the one. You haven't quite had that success yet. All right. So in the past, you have the five of pentacles. So this is, you know, disappointment, feeling left out in the cold. Some of you also, you've really turned around your finances and that's been your focus. And you may also notice that like people are finding you a lot more attractive because you're grounded and you're centered and, you know, you're looking nice, you're smelling nice. Um, but let's see, pay attention to the number sequence five, five. It's coming through pretty strong. Yeah, see, you've healed from any any sort of painful ending or you've closed out a difficult cycle. And, and I feel for a lot of my Taurus, it's not just in love. It may be with your health. Um, I'm seeing some of you may have also like gotten like dental work done, which, you know, depending on where you are and what kind of insurance you have can be quite an investment. Um, so some of you, you've invested in your physical body or your health quite a lot. Um, and you're where you need to be. My goodness, Taurus, <laughs> call me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But you know, it's like, it's that energy. Like you're looking good. You're feeling good. All right. And the ace of wands. Yeah. Like you've, you have made yourself like 10 times more attractive. This to me is telling me that you have gone through a major glow up and it's not just physical. It's emotional. It's energetic. People are picking up on it. Um, and you're, and you're protecting your energy because you are getting a lot of attention, but you also know that you have to protect really hard. You know, you have to protect what you've worked for. Um, your obstacles and challenges are the Knight of pentacles. So maybe you are getting like a little bit bored with some of the options out there. The moon card spirits telling you, you do need to trust your intuition and you can also trust Taurus that the worst is over here. The worst is over. And we get the Ace of Pentacles. But yeah, I, I feel like, you know, some of my Taurus, I don't know if you felt like used and abused in the past or like people were after you for like money or for status. Some of you, again, like I said, you've really up-leveled in that area um, and physically is what I'm getting. But I see here with this Ace of Pentacles, 
you're being very cautious as to whom you invest in because you don't want to repeat those past mistakes. And it's like this lovely repeating message and, and Taurus energy, you're a fixed sign. So when you know you want something, you go for it. Um, you know, and sometimes it can be a, a give off a bit of a stubborn energy. And I, I do get that a little bit here, but I don't really feel like stubborn is the right word to put it. It's like determined. That's the word. But you're determined not to invest in the wrong people or get duped. So you do have the five of wands here coming towards you. It could be a Scorpio. So some of you, you do have a past person coming towards you. And in fact, I feel like you have more than just a past person. I think you have options. I think you're going to, you know, when it rains, it pours. Um, and we also, yeah, five of cups energy in reverse, but I actually see you rejecting someone from the past, unless you're here because you want a reconciliation, then this would be really good news. But now I want you to pay attention to the five, five, five number sequence, which indicates huge changes and fluctuations coming to you. Um, I feel like all of a sudden you're just like, you are the popular person. You know, you're the popular kid in school. You're the popular kid on the block. Um, you're going to be getting a lot of attention. And I see you rejecting. I see you rejecting anybody who rejected you or just isn't coming in and offering you enough, pulling their weight. Yeah, the eight of cups in reverse. You have some, you have a past person coming back to you. Okay, at least. I, and I say at least because I also think the Eight of Cups in reverse takes us back to the Seven of Cups, which can be my online dating card, but it's also my card of options. So I would be prepared to... I would be prepared to get more than one person trying to get your attention, hitting you up here, Taurus. Wow, you're you. I've you know this is a this is a good reading. It's like a good day to be a to be a Taurus type reading. Um, Spirit's advice for you is your higher self is guiding you to make mistakes so you can learn important lessons. Beautiful, but I, like I said, I think you've learned those lessons. Like I don't think you're you're up for more lessons, and not just because you don't want things to be difficult, but because you're wise. You've you know transmuted negative energy from your past. Um, you're very very self aware, and you know what you want, and you're holding out for the one. And spirit saying sacred contract. You have a sacred contract with the universe. Trust there's a divine order behind everything. Yeah. So again, this could also to me, to me, this card also indicates there's a soulmate. There's somebody very important that you have a destined relationship or connection coming towards you. Let me say that again. You have a destined relationship or connection coming towards you. You and this person may have a sacred contract. I'm also getting a lot of my Taurus. You're working really hard with like law of attraction. Your energy, your ener your energetic signature Taurus has shifted and you are, this is such a glow up. And like I said, it's a glow up on so many levels. All right. And we get karmic vibrations. I think you've already done this though. You know, I'm preaching to the choir, conquer your karmic relationships and allow them to teach you so that you don't repeat the same mistakes again. There it is. You're, and I don't, I don't think you're going to. I don't think you're going to, and, and you may have a little test here with somebody from your past coming back around, but also Taurus, um, you know, if you're, if you're waiting for, you want to reconcile with somebody from the past, I mean, then they're coming back. But a lot of you, I can see that you don't, that you're going to reject this person. You're no longer emotionally available to anybody who just didn't see your worth and your value. Maybe when you had less or you weren't quite as hot as you are right now or whatever it might be, you know, just somebody who, who didn't give you what you wanted and what you needed. All right, so let's see, who is this person coming towards my Taurus that they should pay attention to? Because like I said, you've got a couple of people coming in here. Somebody with strong air in their chart, a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. And this is somebody who's a leader. They're comfortable taking charge. They exhibit confidence in their decisions. They may be in a management role. And this person might be a little bit older or younger than you. Now, for some of you, that there is going to be a 10 plus year age difference. Okay, but for others, others of you, that's not the case. All right, so we've got this strong air energy that spirit saying this is the energy that you that you should be focused on at this time. What else do we need to know about this person? What else do we need to know that about this take charge, confident air energy coming towards my Taurus? And I think it's going to be refreshing because I don't think they're in a pick me energy. And I think that's what's going to also draw you to them because you're both, you're both kind of bosses here is what I'm getting, or at least you're giving off that boss energy. Yeah. Okay. So this person is single. 
they've they've been they, in in a sense they may be mirroring you in that in that sense that they're looking out for the one they may have been testing the water seeing who's out there um you know but they're happily single they they don't they have everything they need but they don't have love but they're kind of like I, I'm, I'm not saying they're in a take it or leave it energy but they're good on their own just the way you're good on your own and we do get golden mirror. Okay, so this person may sometimes come off as a little bit self-absorbed. Again, really big red flag if you see somebody that is exhibiting narcissistic behavior. But I, I'm not, I'm not going to read it that way, Taurus. But like I said, pay attention to it. But I'm actually getting that sometimes this person may come off as a bit arrogant because they may have a little bit of that take it or leave it energy because they know their worth and their value. They know they have a lot to offer. And I also think this person doesn't have a problem mincing words and cutting people off. Yeah, and we also have the Phoenix. So I'm getting strong Scorpio energy from a past person. See, I'm getting two, I'm getting two energies here coming through really strong, if not more. This air sign and this leader, this is my question specifically for spirit here is who should you focus on? And we get somebody who's single and then we get a little bit of this self-absorbed energy, which this person, this air energy might come off that way. Okay. But then you may also have a past person who, who is self-absorbed or who did love bomb you coming around as well. Okay. So trust your intuition with these messages, guys, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Always have your wits about you, but spirit does want you to focus on this air energy, this single air energy. And then again, they may come off as a bit self-absorbed, but it could also be a past person coming back around who's going to come in and try to love bomb you because they're seeing that you're hot. They're seeing that you've got it. What is it that, what is it that makes Taurus most attractive right now? Ooh. All right. Seeker. Yeah. See, look at how he's kind of walking away from us. He's going off on a journey, a thirst for wisdom and truth wherever they are. So it's like you look for deeper meaning in things, Taurus, and, and you've been on this solo journey and this has been part of your glow up. You know, maybe some of you, you were off traveling, um, but I also feel like this is about you having learned lessons and it's like you're just in this beautiful energy of being independent and also being a leader yourself. Um, and you're looking for truth. And I, I don't think you're afraid to sit there and talk to people and like interview them and get to the bottom of like who they are and whether or not they're value driven. And if you share the same values and you want the same things, you're a very powerful energy right now, Doris. All right. And we see damsel. So understanding the nature of healthy romance inspires you to rely on yourself. There you go. You're self-reliant and you now understand what a healthy relationship looks like. You also know what a healthy relationship means for you and what you want. And I feel like you're really unapologetic about it, but I just feel like you are, you know, I, I feel like a little intimidated by you, Taurus. Like, I feel like, you know, when people are to sit across from you and talk to you, like you're not afraid to ask them the tough questions. You're not afraid to tell them if you want marriage or you want children or not, like early on, I'm getting like you're exuding confidence. But again, you've learned lessons and you know what you've worked for needs to be protected. And the right person who's in the same energy, which I do feel is this air energy is going to come towards you, but you're going to have to sift through five of wands, a few different options to really see, see this person for who they are. And again, there, there is a past person coming back towards you as well. All right. So I love that energy. So let's see what, what else, how else you'll be able to identify this air energy coming towards you, this single air energy. And again, I, I know I'm repeating myself, but I do feel like they might, they may, they might sometimes be accused of being vain or self-centered, but I actually think you're not going to see them that way. You're going to see somebody here as also somebody who's picky because they've made the mistakes of the past that they don't want to repeat. And so I'm really seeing like you two getting each other on that level, matching each other in that energy. Again, not that you guys are narcissistic or self-absorbed by any means. Okay. And then, and then there's also this past energy coming towards you. So this, uh, this strong air sign may be, uh, have an odd numbered birth year. I'm seeing it being a five or a seven. Um, they already know who you are. Interesting. So this person may have already been checking you out. Okay. They're coming around in Libra season and they're known to be sarcastic, right? Which maybe some people who aren't as switched on sometimes when 
people don't get sarcasm, they can get easily offended. Again, I do feel like this person can sometimes be labeled as like a little bit, well, a little bit rude sometimes because they're very direct, but I don't think that they're going to be rude to you. All right. Now I do have to say, like I am picking up on two very distinct energies, but for some of my Taurus, you know, this could be a past person who is coming back around and you'll already know if you want that or not. All right. Um, and this is someone who has been extremely hurt by a loved one here in the past. Okay. Let's see what else do my, oh, okay. So there's going to be, you're just going to have this magnetic pull towards towards one another. There's a gravitational pull towards one another, Taurus. Um, you're going to have a psychic connection. So you two are going to be able to finish each other's sentences and honest communication. And you know what I feel? I feel, and, and I, I don't know why it's coming to me like this. I feel you're going to have a conversation like nowadays people aren't honest right? Like, you know, when, when, especially if you're doing online dating, like people say things that aren't true about themselves or they post thirst trap pictures. And I feel like you and the right person, you're going to really bond over that because I feel like you both are just as hot as you, as you give, you know, as you, as you, as you post about, right? If that makes sense, or you are what you say you are. And I feel like I've got two people who are meeting in that energy and are going to feel very safe and also feel very relieved to have met one another. Oh, like we can talk honestly. You know, I can ask you hard questions, vetting you to see what you want, you know, what you're looking for in life and in love and see if things line up. And I, I just feel like I don't want it to sound so much like a business deal, but I feel like it's just two people who have healed and they know what they want. They know what they want. And so you're going to be talking directly about that kind of stuff. You're not going to be beating around the bush. You're not, neither one of you also are going to be sitting around trying to impress the other one and saying things that like you think they want to hear and vice versa, but it's like honesty and it's just, it's self-confidence where it's like, take it or leave it. Yeah. You're going to be, you two, I think you two are going to be a very sexy couple. Like you two, other people are going to look at you when you walk in the room together. Like you two are going to be beautiful. All right, you two are going to be that beautiful couple. You know, people are going to envy you is what I'm seeing here. <laughs> oh my goodness. And again, I think you're going to be disappointing. You're going to be disappointing other options here. All right, let's see if we can get some important dates for my Taurus, please. All right, next month. Okay, so we did see that they're probably coming in in Libra season or your paths will cross in Libra season. Um, yeah, so I mean, that actually is confirmation, right? Because we're in September, so it would be October. You know, the end of September, October is Libra season, and you will hear news soon. Some of you, you may even know who this person is. Like I said, for a select few of you, this could be your ex if it sounds like them, if I'm describing them to a T. All right, this person could be coming back around. Again, don't ignore any red flags, but I'm getting a message that's driving us to. Um, you know, to say that sometimes they're perceived as self-centered, but they're not always like, or that's not, not necessarily the case. Um, but you will hear news soon. Some of you, it's not somebody you've dealt with in the past, but it may be somebody that you've met or you're already in communication with, but you haven't quite been able to come together. So again, I'm going to leave the, I'm going to leave the reading here, Taurus, and just remember, don't ignore any red flags put anybody in their place. Okay. Or, you know, if you need to, and don't be afraid to walk away from anyone, but this, this air sign who's in this leadership role, who may already know who you are. Maybe they're just checking you out. Maybe you've already started talking. You're going to feel a very strong animal attraction to one another. There's going to be honest communication. It's also going to be a psychic connection where you and this person can finish each other's sentences. And I feel like it's going to be, I, I feel like you're going to be a power couple. Okay. And it's coming in very, very soon. Looks like in Libra season. All right, my lovely Taurus, I'm going to leave it here. If these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading, or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, love and light. Take care.